everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 29th of march 2022 which is the venue of the bharat bhagya vidhata festival so the 10 day mega red fort festival titled as bharat bhagya vidhata commenced recently at red fort in new delhi and union women and child development minister smriti irani inaugurated this festival so this festival is being organized as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav by ministry of culture and this festival is celebrated to commemorate the heritage of the country and culture of every part of india fine so answer is new delhi now let's talk about new delhi first of all recently delhi government has held business blasters investment summit and expo with the aim of providing a bigger platform to the young entrepreneurs and this will provide an opportunity to the various investors to directly invest in a project of their choice right so do remember that business blasters investment summit belong to new delhi now apart from it recently chief minister of delhi arvind kejriwal has directed the officials to transform 17 city forest of delhi into city forest of world class level and this will be done under mukhyamantri park saundarkaran yojana also 5000 parks in delhi will be developed by the delhi government under delhi at the rate 2047 vision of government okay now apart from all these things on 25th of april 2022 a mega campaign for urban farming will be led by the delhi government to discuss the future course of action and also a delhi environmental protection committee will be set up by the government of delhi to make this initiative a mass movement do remember that the nodal department for this campaign will be horticulture department and through this campaign people of delhi will be able to reduce the consumption of excessive chemical in their daily life and hence their health will obviously improve right next question mario marcel who won the governor of the year award was the governor of which country's central bank so the central banking team and its editorial advisory panel recently unveiled its ninth edition of central banking awards 2022 so mario marcel who belong to chile has been named for the governor of the year award and he expertly navigated a third currency crisis in two years amid the wider political volatility while improving the central bank's capabilities right now let's see some of the important and recent awards first of all devendra jhajharia becomes the first para athlete to receive the padma bhushan then abel prize 2022 which is to be given in the field of mathematics has been given to dennis p sullivan okay and he belong to america then suresh raina has been awarded the prestigious sports icon award where at the maldives sports award 
After that, Professor Narayan Pradhan has been selected for the 31st G.D. Birla Award for scientific research for his outstanding contribution in the field of material sciences. Now apart from it, Bangladeshi environmental lawyer Rizwana Hassan has been selected for the International Women of Courage Award for the year 2022. So country is also important. She belonged to Bangladesh. And do remember that she received the Raymond Maxese also in the year 2012. Fine. Next question. Who is the first chairperson of the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub? So RBI Governor Shakti Khan Das inaugurated the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub recently in Bangalore. And it has been set up to encourage and nurture the financial innovation with an initial capital contribution of 100 crore rupees. So, Senapati Chris Gopalakrishna is the first chairperson while it has eminent persons from industry and academia as members, right? Now, let's see some of the important and recent appointments. First of all, Lieutenant General Vinod G. Khandare has been appointed as advisor in the Ministry of Defense. Then NATO has extended the Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg's tenure by one year that is until 30th of September 2023. After that, Hisashi Takuchi has been appointed as MD and CEO of Maruti Suzuki for what time period? For three years. Okay. And he belonged to Japan. After that, Mr. Pralay Mandal has been appointed as interim MD and CEO of CSB Bank. And one last is Indian economist Jayati Ghosh has been named as a member of United Nations newly established advisory board. Okay, so this is a matter of honor for India, right? Next question, who is the chief executive officer of government e-market portal? So the government e-market portal was launched in the year 2016 for online purchases of goods and services by all the central government ministries and departments. So CEO of the government e-market place announced that the portal has crossed 1 lakh crore rupees during this fiscal year and GEM is among the top 5 e-public procurement systems globally. And the top states that are buying from the portal are Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. Okay. So who is the CEO of this portal? Answer would be PK Singh. Now apart from it, the India TV report 2022 was recently released by the Union Health Minister and as per this report, India reported a sharp 19% rise in TB cases in 2021 over the previous year and the total number of incident TB patients notified during 2021 were around 19 lakh as opposed to that of 16 lakh in the year 2020. 20. So there has been increase in the mortality rate as well due to TB by 11% in India. Fine. So if you are asked that what is the percentage rise in the TB cases in India in 2021 as per India TB report 2022, answer would be 19%. Now apart from it, Kambala is an annual buffalo race that is held in the state of Karnataka. And the 5th annual Mangaluru Kambala is set to be organized in Mangaluru city. So after lawsuits filed by animal welfare organizations, the Supreme Court of India ordered a ban on Kambala in the year 2014. And the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Karnataka Amendment Ordinance 2017 re-legalized the Kambala festival. Fine. So only thing you have to remember is this festival belonged to the state Karnataka. Now the Great Barrier Reef is the 
world's largest coral reef system that is located in Australia. And as per a new study, fish in the Australia's Great Barrier Reef are losing their color. So this study revealed that the relationship between the coloration of the fish communities and the environment is likely to be impacted by global environmental change, right? So this was the news why Great Barrier Reef was in news. So if you can be asked that this reef is located in which country, answer would be Australia. Next question, Solomon Islands, which has drafted a security deal with China, is located in which ocean or sea? So Solomon Islands, which is a country of hundreds of islands in the South Pacific, has confirmed that it is drafting a security deal with country China. And as per the media reports, a Chinese military base could potentially be set up on the island to the north of Australia. So this step has triggered concern in the neighboring Australia and other Western allies in the Indo-Pacific, obviously, right? So answer is Pacific Ocean. Now apart from it, Sea Dragon 22 exercise is a multinational exercise and recently it held at Anderson Air Force Base Guam right and the countries that participated in this exercise are India, Australia, Canada, US, South Korea and Japan. So this exercise is important as some of the participating countries have strained relations with China. Now talking about some of the important military exercises, first is Sampriti. It is the exercise between India and Bangladesh. Next is Mitra Shakti. This is the exercise between India and Sri Lanka. After that, there is Maitri, which is conducted between India and Thailand. Then after that, Vajra Prahar is the exercise between which two countries? India and USA and one more exercise we conduct with USA is Yudh Abhyas right now after that nomadic elephant is the exercise between India and Mongolia Garud Shakti is between India and Indonesia and then Shakti is the exercise between India and France so Shakti is a different thing and Garud Shakti is a different thing right then there is Dharma Guardian. It is between India and Japan and recently it was held as well. So it is quite important. After that, there is Surya Kiran. It is conducted between India and Nepal. Then another is Hand in Hand. We conduct it with China. Then next is Simbex is the exercise between India and Singapore. Next is Corpet. It is between India and Thailand. And last is Zayed Talwar. This one is between India and UAE. Right? You have to tell me Al Muhid Al Hindi. This exercise we have conducted last year with which country? Do let me know in the comments. Next question Tulip Festival is an annual festival conducted in which Indian city? So, Asia's largest tulip garden with over 1 million. Tulips has been opened to the public in Jammu Kashmir's Srinagar and this tulip garden has been cultivated over months for the upcoming tulip festival. So this festival in Srinagar annually attracts the tourists from all over the world at the beginning of the spring season. Fine. Now let's talk about some of the important news regarding Jammu Kashmir. First of all, Jammu Kashmir has become the first union territory of India to be integrated with national single window system. Why? So this will basically facilitate the investment in this region. And with this, the global investors can apply for their business approvals in online mode. So this can be linked in to a big network of partnership, right? So important thing is that which is the first state or union territory of India to be integrated with national single window system. Answer would be Jammu and Kashmir. Now recently largest igloo cafe of world has been opened in Jammu and Kashmir 
and name of the cafe is Snow Blue and this was built by Wasim Shah who is the owner and before this the largest cafe was in Switzerland right now also Jammu Kashmir is the first union territory of India to implement the good governance index at the district level and this index was prepared by Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances. So the top five district in this index are first is Jammu, then Doda, after that Samba, fourth is Pulwama and fifth is Srinagar. Fine. Next question. Sanji art which was seen in the news recently is practiced in which Indian state? So Lok Sabha member and actor Hema Malni has asked the government if it has any plan to encourage the artist from Mathura Vrindavan involved in the Sanji art. So this is a kind of unique craft form that features extraordinary designs and pictures that is to be cut into paper. And this was originated in Mathura in the North Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. And this kind of painting is also practiced in Vrindavan. Fine. So this art belongs to the state of Uttar Pradesh. Now one of the top and evergreen schemes of Uttar Pradesh is Major Dhyan Chand Vijay Pat Yojana under which 19 international players would get road connectivity to their homes. Right. Now recently we have seen that the state Kerala has launched 24 by 7 WhatsApp chatbot named as Maya for tourism information services. After that, Mukhya Mantri microfinance initiative is a new scheme announced by which Indian state? Answer is Nagaland. Now recently, Himachal Pradesh government has signed a memorandum of understanding with National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Mohali as knowledge partner for the upcoming medical devices park at Nalagarh in Solan district. So Nipper is set to establish a center for excellence in the medical devices park to enable the industry academia linkage, right? So simply you can be asked that Nalagarh medical devices park is a project of which Indian state or union territory? Do remember answer is Himachal Pradesh. Next question. When is the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery observed? So this day is observed every year on 25th of March and the theme for this year is Stories of Courage, Resistance to Slavery and Unity Against Racism. Okay. So for more than 400 years, over 15 million men, women and children became the victims of the transatlantic, the slave trade. Right. So talking about some of the important days and themes, on 22nd of March, we celebrate one very important day. What is that? World Water Day. Why? To raise awareness regarding the importance of water and its conservation. And the theme for this year was Groundwater, Making the Invisible Visible. Then on 21st of March, we observe World Syndrome Day. Why? To create awareness about the Down syndrome and the theme for this year was inclusion means. Fine. After that 5th of October has been designated as National Dolphin Day by the Union Environment Ministry recently. So this day would be celebrated from 2022. After that 24th of March is observed as International Day for the right to truth fine now apart from all these days yoga mahotsav 2022 is a campaign for 100 days 100 organizations at 100 places with an objective to give wider promotion to the various dimensions of yoga and also it aims to promote the 100 days countdown campaign to International Day for Yoga 2022 for health, well-being and world peace. So the National Institute of 
naturopathy which works under ministry of ayush will conduct a yoga session on common yoga protocol at aga khan palace which is a gandhi heritage site at right so you can be asked that what is the name of the campaign on 100 days 100 organizations at 100 places recently launched to promote various dimensions of yoga answer is yoga mahotsav various type of options can be given for example yoga mahotsav then yoga and india bharat yoga and yoga for amritkal anything can be given but you have to remember that correct answer is yoga mahotsav next question pacer initiative which was seen in the news recently is implemented by which union ministry first of all what does pacer stands for the polar science and cryosphere research and this scheme is implemented through national center for polar and ocean research which is an autonomous institute under the ministry of earth sciences so it comprises of the antarctic program indian arctic program southern ocean program and cryosphere and climate program so this scheme is organizing 41st indian scientific expedition to antarctica and this scheme has recently been approved for continuation during 2021 to 2026 so correct answer is ministry of earth sciences now talking about important ministries that were in use ministry of culture has recently inaugurated the 3 day north east festival called ishan manthan where in new delhi so it included the discussion on the indigenous faith of northeast india discussions on the unsung freedom fighters of the northeast etc and this event will also provide information about the films art and handicrafts of the northeast fine now recently atal innovation mission niti ayog announced their collaboration with the indo german development of cooperation project economic empowerment of women entrepreneurs and startups by women so under this partnership win cubate training program will be provided to the atal innovation mission incubators and innovation centers to help them adopt a gender focused approach fine next question which indian state or union territory topped the export preparedness index for 2021 so niti ayog in partnership with institute of competitiveness released the export preparedness index for 2021 and as per this report most of the coastal states of india are the best performers and gujarat was the top performer and this epi ranks the states and union territories on four main pillars which are these policy business ecosystem export ecosystem and export performance okay and there are also 11 sub pillars in this so correct answer is gujarat now india has recently crossed a landmark milestone as the e sanjeevni telemedicine service of union health ministry has crossed 3 crore tele consultations and this service has set a new record by completing 1.7 lakh consultations in a day so states that are leading in terms of adoption of e sanjeevni are andhra pradesh west bengal and karnataka now few days back we have talked about the world happiness report recently it has been published and india's rank in this report is 136 who was the topper finland and the last place was occupied by afghanistan this means it was at 146th now india is the second largest global venture capital investment hub for the digital shopping companies which country is at the top so it is usa second is india third is china and fourth is uk also india ranks at 120 in the sustainable development report 2021 which were the top 3 countries finland sweden and then denmark and india ranks 43rd among 
55 countries in the intellectual property index 2022 and the top five countries in this are USA then UK Germany and then France okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus signing off